On a 72-minute run from St Pancras to Leicester, the Midland compounds could manage just a nine-coach load within the specified time. Stanier's Jubilees, although they were brand new, could barely match that, and the Patriots can only knock off about two, three minutes. One Black Five, though, managed the same run, unassisted, in 65 minutes. That's a good seven minutes quicker than Johnson's souped-up 440s. Progress much? Footplate crews didn't take long to like them, nor did fitters and passengers. And over the years, a few modifications and experiments were carried out, such as a few with double chimneys, others fitted with Caprotti valve gear, and one with Stevenson link motion. For what they were, they also made a half-decent noise. I mean, how's this for a bark? Surely, surely it wouldn't hurt to have just one of these things in a different colour scheme. It doesn't even have to be an authentic. I mean, it could be Crimson Lake or Brunswick Green, perhaps. Or, I don't know, something that isn't just black. OK, maybe that was a step too far. It's not surprising that 18 of these engines are preserved. And to this day, many of them are still capable of top-line performance, often standing in for other engines.